Hello everybody and welcome back to another video in the Stardock Software Saga. Uh, pretty much that's what we've been doing for the past couple of weeks on this channel. You guys may have seen that I've done a video on Bootskin XP, on Logon Studio XP, and most recently Bootskin Vista. And today we're going to be uh, continuing that saga with Logon Studio Vista. Now this, this was a program that I mentioned in pretty much all three of these videos, and what it allows you to do is the same thing that the uh, XP version of the Logon Studio allows you to do. It allows you to change the way that your Windows Vista login screen looks like. What's also cool is that this program, this specific version of the program here also works on Windows 7 as well and even Windows XP. However, the version that we took a look at in the Windows XP Logon Studio video was an older version that, in my opinion, just works a little bit better with Windows XP. It allows you more customization options than this program will, and you're going to be seeing that in this video, how much more customizable that older uh, version of the program is. So, as always, I'm going to have the link to this download page down below in the video description. All you have to do is come over to the website and click on the download button right here, and it will uh, ask you to see save the Logon Studio public.exe installation file. Now, I already have this downloaded, so we're going to go ahead and run it from our download manager here. And it's, of course, like pretty much all of these other programs, it's a very, very simple installation process. We just have to agree to the license agreement and choose where we want to install it to, and that is literally it. We are done with the installation. So I'm going to check the Launch Logon Studio box here. We're going to hit Finish, and Logon Studio Vista is going to first pop up with a user account control dialog, and we're going to hit Continue. And here we are in Logon Studio. Now, you will notice uh, a couple of things right off the bat. Number one is this uh, design of the program is much more modern looking, it just looks sleeker and cleaner than the XP version. Now that being said, the XP version, as I mentioned before, while it does have a way older looking interface, has more uh, features to it. it. It just allows you to customize things in more detail, essentially, than you can here. All you can do in this program is change the entire background image of your login screen. That is it. And that is why that I really didn't like the way that this program worked with Windows XP because the older one just allowed you to do so much more than that. I mean, you could change the background image, yeah, but you could also change all of the text, the logos. You could change individual portions of the um, login screen. You could change the top bar, the bottom bar, um, what the shutdown image looked like, what the um, go button when you actually would type in your uh, password and hit go to log in. You could change what that image looked like. All you can do here is just change the background and that's it. Um, so you can use any image that you want. I mean, you can use images that you have on your desktop. You can go to... Um, download here and go on to the one customized website and download other people's images essentially um, and what's also cool is if you have bootskin vista installed as i do on the system all of the bootskins that you have installed will also show up as a log on screen so you could have the exact same image as both your boot screen and your log on screen background so if you want uh, a little bit of continuity there um, you can have that so let's see how this program actually works so let's say that i want to change my log on screen background to uh, this palm leaf image right here all I have to do is just have that image selected, hit apply, and the program will lock my computer, and there it is. I mean, that is it. That is all there is to this program. You cannot change this logo down here. You can't change any of this text, any of these buttons, any of this text or the uh, border around your user icon. Can't change any of that. Um, it's basically just a glorified um, background switcher for your login screen so you could actually manually do this yourself i mean if you wanted to just go into the you know system 32 or wherever that the logon screen image is stored and just edit that that's basically what this program is doing but it's just making it way easier to do for the novice or the average computer user so let's go ahead and just take a look at what some of these options on the side here allow us to do so if you hit the load button what it does is it pops up with this window here and you can browse for a logon vista file what you can also do is browse for a logon xp file so you could actually take a uh 
logon that you created in the old version of Logon Studio XP and actually bring it into Logon Studio Vista, but it will just, you know, take that entire logon screen and make it a background image and put it as the background image so you won't be able to customize anything as I said so that's what that option does download will bring up the win customize website what you can do with create is uh, just basically add your own image so if I hit browse here and let me actually just copy uh, one of my images over to this computer alright so I just went ahead and copied over the actual background image that I use on my channel and some of my other social media pages so we're just going to go to the create button here we're going to browse for that image and you can change the author name if you want and just hit save and now if we if we hit apply um it's going to go ahead and apply that so there you go i mean upload here what you can do is actually uh if you have a win customize account you can upload your own images to uh, the win customize website so that other people can download them by clicking on the download button and you have the about screen that just shows you some copyright info you can see that this was last updated in 2010 at least that's what the uh, copyright date says copyright 2007 2010 and uh, version 1.7.0 check for updates obviously won't do anything because they don't update this program anymore um, so that's pretty much going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video guys if you enjoyed this one be sure to give it a thumbs up be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever i upload a new video which i do every single week on this channel and as always, guys, if you have any sort of questions, comments, or suggestions about this program, or if you want to see future videos on some of Stardock's software, be sure to let me know down in the comments below, as they do have a very large library of customization tools and theme packs for Windows that I think you guys would enjoy seeing in a video or two or three or four or five. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of different programs that I could cover. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to let me know down in the comments below and as always i just want to thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next video